Hello, anyone who happens to be watching this, and welcome to the first episode of I'm Gonna Play Chantelise by AJ. Uh, this is a game by Carpe Fulger, as you can see down at the bottom. Uh, originally Japanese, got translated by by them, I think. Well, it well, somebody translated it. And somebody made it. I forget exactly who. Uh, this is the kind of prequel to another game. Or it's at least kind of related to another game made by whoever made this game called uh, Reseteer. Which I will probably get to after I play this. Um, I was going to play a game called Toho Mother. But due to technical difficulties, the recording was all messed up, half of the screen was gone, the colors were inverted, it was horrible. So um, I decided to fill my playing an RPG with Chantilis. So huzzah, I have played this, I think uh, my Steam thing, it's available on Steam. Um, I don't know how much money it is right now. I think 10 to 20 dollars. It's been a while since I bought it, and I played like 36 minutes of it, but I didn't get very far due to various reasons. I don't know why, but uh, now I have a reason to play it. And this does have voice acting, I think. It says voice. So fairly sure that. Or it may just be sound effects. <laughs> I don't know. If uh, they don't have actual voice acting for the dialogue, then I'll probably just say it out loud if they do. Um, I'll just let them speak their own stuff and trust you guys to be reading it yourself. So, yeah, I deleted my old save file because, I mean, I don't even remember how to play. So, might as well start new. So, um, I forget if it, like, explains it, but this is about two sisters who, one's name is Chant and the other is Elise, and the title is Chant Elise, which is a combination of the names, and one of them... Oh. Uh... Okay, you may not have been able to read that. Don't go out at night when the moon is red, or the witch will curse you forevermore. They told us that old fairy tale so after. Wednesday,月の赤い夜。私たちは外にいた。まるで何かに誘われるように外を歩いていた。uh, hopefully you guys are able to read that text. そんなに歩いていないはずなのに、周りは知らない景色だった。不安で泣きそうな私を姉さんはずっと励ましてくれた。ふと前を見ると、赤い月に照らされて誰かが立っていた。Let's give a summary once the gameplay begins. Look at that moon, it's all red. Look at that cloud over on the right side, kind of looks like a cat. The one on the left kind of looks like a bear. The one right below the bear kind of looks like an upside down bunny. All the animal clouds. I wonder if when they were... <laughs>私たちはいつも遊んでいる見知った森の中にいた。エリーゼ、エリーゼ。私を呼ぶ姉さんの声がする。私は声のする方を見た。そこには心配している姉さんが。
性で光る羽小さな体可愛らしいフェアリーがそこにいた It's probably improvement. Cause fairies... これが魔女の呪いなのかな Let's see if this voice acting for dialogue or just the intro. I cannot remember at all. And so begins the tale of two sisters. That's the subtitle, Tale of Two Sisters. As you, can, you can see our characters over there. <laughs> nope, no voice acting. Okay, so basically, these two are the sisters. This is Chance. The green fairy, green haired fairy. Green hair is actually kind of weird, so I wonder if she had it before, or if it's just because she's a fairy. And、uh, the taller, obviously taller one is the sister Elise.、Um, okay, so basically, if you couldn't read hair, and if you don't understand Japanese, then.、Uh, It was saying that、uh, they were told a fairy tale about not that they shouldn't go out at night on when there's a red moon because the witch will curse them. They went out anyways, like they were being pulled, I think it said, and they got separated. Actually, kind of got distracted part way, and then、uh, it turned out like this. So, yeah. Mmm. So very tired. Come on, Chan, not again. We've only been walking for half a day. <laughs> so, if you've played r e s t e t i e r before, you will definitely recognize this art style. Because、uh, Elise kind of reminds me of、uh, r e s t e t from r e s t e t i e r Good game. s h a i As I said before, we'll probably play after this. I'll have to restart. But whatever. There's a few hours till sundown still. We can't stop now. Give me a little bitty break here, Elise. And no, that ain't a hate, height joke either. <laughs> Cause she's short. She doesn't look that short. Once, once we cross these fields, we should reach a town, I think. Just a bit further. I know you can do it. Man, is that any way to be talking to your older sister? What? Chan, why don't you just, like, write on her head or something? Wait a second. Ooh, ooh, ah, don't go down on my. Well, well, both had the same idea at the same time. I feel like I'm heavy either. Cleaning out the dust you leave behind takes forever. What the? This is my super p o n e n t fairy dust, just. Sparkly. Oh, is my super p o n e n t fairy dust just sparkly dandruff to you? I don't see a hood on her outfit. Oh, wait a second, it's right. I was looking at her little avatar in the dialogue thing, but if you look at her thing, her cape kind of looks like a hood. Come here, Elise. My feet and your shins have a date to go on. Gasp. Shh. Huh? What's up? I think I just heard a woman scream. Did you? Oh no! I think I need help! That's the scream? Yeah, that's the sound of moral terror, right? Alright. We should go see what's wrong. Nee, nee.、Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, it's been a while since we got into a fight, huh? You do remember how to fight, right? I know we're in a hurry, but let's do a quick recap. Okay, first off, press button one to swing your sword. So, so. So, Z. Alright, now button two to jump. X. That's the way. Hit button four to lock on B. Okay, let's keep an eye on it. Right now, should we mount her a bit? Camera switch. Hold. Camera button down to break your lock on. Okay. If using a gamepad, you can also swing the camera around by using the shoulder button over the right hand joystick. I wish I had a game controller that goes with my computer, but I don't, because I'm cheap. 
Now, let me teach you about the jump step. While moving, hit attack and jump at the same time. Okay. Oh. Can you hit time down. It's great emergency dodge move. Practice a little and you'll get a hang of it. Alright. Uh, enough yapping. Let's make slime puree as a warm-up. Smoothies. I think that's kind of what puree is. Okay, I kind of wish it auto-targeted to a new thing. To kill the- oop, hello. Almost hit you. Elise. Oh, Elise. Hey, are you okay? Yes, thank you. That was a bit of a pickle. I need to try to decide to do some semblance of voice acting. Uh, I don't- if I had to choose, just imagine that I'm saying a tomboy voice for chant. Yeah, I hope you're grateful since we busted our rumps to save you. If you want to make it up to us, you can give us a reward. Chant. Oh, well, how about dinner at my place then? What? No, no, we couldn't possibly. Really, it's fine. I love the company, to be honest. I like our outfit. You're the lady. It's perfectly fine. So let's go, miss, huh? Oh, uh, not huh. I'm Ira. Ira? Ira. Nice to meet you. Cool. Well, I'm Chant, and this is my baby sister, Elise. <laughs> now I've been going to complain about being called a baby? Pleasure to meet you, Miss Ira. Right, well, I'm hungry. Let's introducing more eating. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there we go. But yeah, we didn't use any magic in that fight, did we? We don't grab magic stones. I can't use them to blow stuff up, at least. Let me explain about magic. This is kind of complicated, so listen up. I bet it's the C button, which is in the middle of all the other buttons. First you need to grab the stone, then move that stone. Get close, then hit the attack button. That's it. Now press button C. Button 3. Fire. That was fire magic I just used. What magic I can use depends on the color of the stones you grab. Can I mix a match? Oh, and some spells can lock onto and chase enemies, so make use of that. Now get... Ooh, I didn't... Yeah. Okay. Grab that. Grab that. Yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Now hold down the ma hold the magic button down, then release it. Uh, no, 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 no. Just like that, you can use multiple stones together for bigger spells. But uh, I can only use two at once right now. Hey, it's been a while. We all slip a bit every now and then. Don't worry, I'll get it back eventually. Let's... Okay, sometime... It's force of habit for me to press the button to get all the stuff to appear, so... Uh... Apparently, it just skips the next dialogue. Oh, if you hold the button down a long time, the spell will cancel, though. Keep that in mind. I held down a pretty good amount just now. Well, that's about all I have to say about magic. What we really need now is practice, so let's... Forces of habit? Okay. I'm gonna murder you with fire! Okay. Good money! Give me my money. Give me my money. Stone. Stone. And now... Wait, how did I do the camera again? Okay. Okay, so... I'm going... Assuming those red dots are enemies, yeah. So, combine everything! Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Beat you up with my hammer ball. Just basically just an iron ball. Can I kill this tree? Nope. Nope. Well then. Apparently, trees are not to be messed with in this game. They destroy your magics. Apparently I have no equipment right now, which... I wonder if that just means, like, items? Like, healing potions? Because I obviously have some kind of... Spear... Uh, super hammer ball? Oh, super hammer. Some hammer ball... that thing before? So, remember correctly just from... Oop, hello. 
Oh, these guys don't take damage. Why not? Combination! So... Well then. Get... Cancel. Okay. Well, so much for that. No. No. I wanna turn... I wanna turn the camera. It's... Oh. A and S can be used to turn the camera. It's nice. I was using the block on thing to change it. I uh, wonder if I have to kill everyone or it looks blocked, so probably. Yeah. Money is very important. Remember that uh, I had a bit of difficulty with these controls last time I played, so hopefully it won't be horrible. Come on. Okay. But uh, yeah. This would probably work much better on a uh, gamepad. Combo magic time. So, okay, so fire and gold make hammer. Wait, this one looks bigger, so just bigger hammer? Confused. I don't like everything. So it all works out. Yeah, I feel like the lock-on is going to become very handy because I have to take my, fing my t fingers off the attack and uh, jump buttons. So if there's like a boss and I have to run around him, lock-on will be good. Chapter 1, the fairy and the swordsman. Swords maiden. Okay, so I guess that's a sword. Well, come in. No need to be shy. Thanks for letting us come in, Ira. Ira. Already, uh, so you run an item shop of some sort here. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Looks like it. This is a pretty nice place. Aw, thank you. You two must be very hungry. Let me get started on dinner right away. Here we go. Oop, uh, holy, gr holy granola! Look at the spread. Looks like she has very big buttons. Anyways, let's see what we got. Um, slabs of cheese. I think that's a salad that she's covering. Bread. I think that might be steak. And some more steak. Miss Ira, are you sure this isn't any trouble? Don't be silly. You did save me after all. Besides, it's far more fun to eat with company. Well, you heard the lady. Let's dig in. Well, all right. Cheers, Ira. Oh, so that was... Are those gigantic blueberries with... Huh. Oh, hey, I think that's sushi over there. The best out of all of this, except for maybe... whatever is directly to the left of the flower pot. That looks like it has some melted cheese on it. Because that looks good. I see, so you're searching for a witch. And your search lady did this town? That's right, I was wondering if you had any idea about where we could look for her. I want to know why you thought to come here, and I also want to know why your belt is so loose. At least. Hmm. Well, this town is surrounded by old ruins and the like, but I can't think of any particular place such a person would hide. I'm sorry. I wonder what the witch looks like. I wonder if she's like the stereotypical old and wrinkly with the wart on the nose, or if she's actually going to end up being like... A young woman. Maybe it's Ira. Plot twist. No, it's okay, really. <clears throat> Sweet heaven above, this is wonderful. Turning to Professor Oak. The tongue trembling flash of sweetness when you bite into it. The soft gelatinous texture. It's so delicious I think I'm gonna die from taste overload. What are you eating? The cheese? 
Oh, I'm so glad you like it. It's my special slime liver marinade, you see. Mm. Uh, slime, what? I think Chant and me have a spiritual connection already. Oh, don't worry, I leached all the poison out. <laughs> so it's like blowfish, except you can take out the poison? What? <laughs> no, no, don't leave any leftovers. <laughs> Man, that was so good. Could have done without knowing what was in it, though. Either way, though, Ira's amazing. She helps out a lot. She reminds me a bit of you, at least. Just more grown-up, like. R really? But I... T Is that how you pronounce that? I... T Not flattering. Flattering. Time to get down to some real detective work. Well, okay. Someone around here has, to has got to know something. Maybe. Hopefully. Let's grill the locals for, for info, but I didn't. I don't have any red jewels with me. We can't grill them. Uh, I'm gonna skip the old man. A fairy, interesting. You've got something rare there. You're, what? A witch? You mean people still believe that old rumor? Fair, mm. You're an adventurer too, are you? Guess that means we're in the same line of work. Okay, that looks like a sword. Ooh, it. Ah. I'm not saying out of it, just admiring her sheep. Is that a fairy you have with you, Missy? Interesting. Used to see them a lot way back when, but you never see them nowadays. Looking for a witch, you say? Hmm. Old memory's failing me. I'm afraid. I can't really remember. Are you useless? Okay, that's not bad or anything. Down here? No. E no. Okay. Okay, so the red dots on the map are people and buildings that I assume I assume that buildings with the color are the ones that I can go in. So if I go or not, and then I'll just continue talking. Hello, I've not seen you around here before. Are you an adventurer? Not much of a town, but try to enjoy yourself, okay? Worth of habit. He probably didn't have any good info. Hello, young miss with apples and bread. Stereotypical shopping bag. Oh, a fairy. How unusual. Hello, little misadventure. A witch. I think I heard a rumor about that once. Tell me more. We used to have a lot of adventurers in town asking about a witch. I think they've mostly given up because we don't get many in town anymore. Well, she obviously thinks that there's something here for her. gonna admire every point of view. <laughs> Got a little red ribbon. Okay, anyways. I like I like getting a look at the characters that I play as. Wow, a fairy, she looks like a bug. Chant, insult him right now. He doesn't let me No! Get away from her. Chant's mine, man. <laughs> Okay, did I already talk to everyone? Yeah, uh, camera. Okay, I talked to them. Ch birds? Seagulls? Pigeons? What are these? Uh, wait, is it a red dot? Oh, they're just this birds. Okay, yeah, I think I talked to everyone out here. Better go back inside. Welcome back. Did you suffer anything? No. Well, the wandering round was about as useful as a fish in the desert. Uh, well, I'm assuming that since you're in the desert, there's a much to eat, so really, a fish in the desert would be good. Because it's probably all, like, already dried out. Maybe it even, like, became fish jerky by itself. Eh, anyway, anyways, nobody knew anything. Oh dear, I was afraid that might happen. But while you were out, I had an idea. Why not ask the city's fortune teller to help? That was probably the purple place that I was looking at a little while ago. She's quite famous for the accuracy of her fortunes. People come far from far and wide just to consult her. Oh, a fortune teller? Well, heck, let's go right now. Well, wait, it's getting very late. I have a spare room on the second floor, so why not sleep there tonight? Is there a giant creepy mushroom in there? Because if so, all the more reason. What? No, no, we can't impose like that. Really, I insist. Besides... The room will just sit empty otherwise. So, empty... 
that there's nothing in there. Not even a mushroom? <laughs> chance! Thank you! Thank you, Chance. Spiritual connection. Well, it does have a bed, right? Of course. Score! Elise, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I mean, a real bed. It's been how long now? Well... You two get off to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Hmm... Good morning. Oh, I wanted to see if there was a mushroom in the bed. I feel like Chant probably didn't have good enough sleep, or it's just, or she's not an early, more, yeah, not a morning person. Yeah, show sleeper. She's not a morning person. Good morning, you two. Did you sleep well? It's been ages since I slept that well. Thank you so much. Or maybe Chant just slept too well. Mm hmm. I'm glad you got some rest. Now, Chant, what did you have planned for today? Uh, go and talk to the fortune teller. Very good. <laughs> the fortune teller's place is straight across the square from my store. Good luck, you two. Don't worry, I already know where it is. Oh, roof. Yep. So this is the fortune teller I uh, told us about, right? Well, time's a wasting. Come on. Uh, Chant, look at the door. What? Currently out? What? She's off frolicking in the tulips while her customers are waiting? I don't know about you, Chant, but when I imagine a fort fortune teller, I don't imagine somebody frolicking in tulips. Plus, it could be a person. Or, person. Of course, it's probably a person. I meant a guy. Well, like, customers are waiting? Well, it says currently out at the Terran Ruins for Regents. Genius fortune teller Alma. Alma. Okay, so it's good. Peh, nuts to just sitting here like a pair of chumps. Fun, at least. We're heading over to these Terran what's out whatevers. I wonder why she just attacked. Anyways, I'm assuming that this is the gate to go. Hey, you got anything else? Just, just wondering. A little misadventure. No? No? Okay. And I'm still rapidly clicking the button. Town, the plane... Oh, wait a second. Before I go anywhere, I'm just gonna... Oh, God. I wanted to save, just so that, you know, I'd have a save spot. I think it's been like 15 minutes now. I'll probably... Uh, keep... Actually, maybe I'll stop this episode right now. Okay, yeah, I want... I'm gonna check to see if I can save. Save. Game saved. Game won't resume with the moment. Oh. So I didn't even have to go back into town. Okay, I... Oh, 700, 750 picks. That is also the same currency amount from Reseteer. It'd be great if you could do a crossover. These people have the your bodyguards. Anyways, uh, I will play time. Oh, it's already been 20 minutes. Oh, okay. That was 15. But uh, I'll stop here and then start right back up. This will be episode one, or part one, whatever. And, yeah, basically, just, just see you in a little bit.